What's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy Dan V. Hoods and News, and who we got right here? KK. Hey, how we doing? Long time. Yeah. Man, we supposed to been through this. Waiting on you. We was waiting for me. Yeah. Long time. First and foremost, I got to shout out my boys. Hot box up town. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Good. Everything. Yeah, That's all I'm going to say. So they come shop with them. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get straight to your background. First and foremost, where you from? DC. Southeast, Northeast, Northwest, Northeast. <laughs> I'm from Southeast. Oh shit, she grew up in them trenches, huh? Yeah, you he's going say in, that, in, yeah. in the trenches. Hit it everywhere. You say a little bit everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How was it for you growing up? It was cool. You say it was cool? Yeah. You, show, you, you say it was cool, or you know what I'm saying? Or it was bad times, good times? It was like, you got your good, like everybody got their good and their bad. Like, my life is like a story, like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So. Well, that's why we here. We here to get to know that story. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, just tell me something about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm the most hated in the DMV. <laughs> like, everybody know that, though. Yeah. So. I'm going to ask a real question. I'm going to ask a real question. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why everybody trying to fight? I always want to fight you or get into with you. Because I seem like you cool as shit. Like, you don't really <laughs> get into that. I got to ask the real. Like. I think it's because they niggas be on my body. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, I be chilling. Like, I'm a chill female. I'm a genuine female. Like, I be chilling. I'm down to mm. earth, all that outgoing, very outgoing, but I don't bite my tongue for nobody. Like, right. that's not what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. It could be me against everybody, their grandmother. I'm gonna stand ten toes with me, regardless. Mm -hmm. And then, I can't help how I look, you feel me? Natural. I got natural fat ass, so like, okay. they be on my body, and then the girls be group chatting it, and it just be that. Right. So, you, you think you get a lot of hate, like, from females mostly out here? Yes, and I get a lot of hate because the person, people I used to deal with, so. Mm hmm for real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whew, how you deal with that being, like, an artist as well, you know what I'm saying? And just a popular figure in the DMV. Um, I really had haters my whole life because I was a cheerleader and all that, so I was always in the stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's always going to be, like, somebody hating off mm -hmm. you, so. I mean, it motivated me, honestly. It motivated right. me to go harder. Right. So you was always like a, like a popular person in I was school. just that girl. Like, my, when I came out my mother's womb, I was that girl. Like, oh, you feel okay. what I'm saying? Confident, right. man. Well, yeah, take me your journey, man. When you started, like, you decided to want to rap, you know what I'm saying? Because so, you could have chose, you know, any line. You could have been a model, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you could have been anything. <laughs> like, when can you... I mean, I do dip and dab and everything. I used to model. Mm -hmm. I used to cheer, I used to dance, I used to want to be a choreographer. Mm -hmm. I be just being, I be in everything, you feel me? Right. But, like, me and my family, we would like have little family nights, we all sitting there with my uncle just freestyling. So, everybody like, yeah, take it serious, take it serious. I'm like, no, nah, because I play too much. Everybody knew I play way too much. Mm -hmm. So, me and my friends went to the studio just to do a little song. We all some funny shit. Then we put it out. Everybody just like, keep going, you got this. Like, and I'm just like, do I? Then it's like, everybody I know, like that was close to me, they used to rock, but they died. Mm -hmm. So it's like, should I continue this? Then I had my cousin in my ear like, yeah, you gotta continue Lundy Legacy. So I'm just like, okay. okay. So I just started doing it. Brother, okay. Yeah, you say continue Lundy's Legacy. Yeah, that's my cousin. That's your cousin, for yes. real? Oh, shit. And she was definitely <laughs> she somebody was had an impact. Pearl, like, yeah, she definitely had an impact out here. So she was probably one of your insp as, as, uh, inspirations, I would say. Yeah, she still is. She still is. Mm -hmm. That's definitely mm -hmm. dope right there. So yeah. Um, what was some of the challenges you coming in as a female artist? I know a lot of female artists get a lot of flack, you know, um, and stuff like that. I know one of the main things is dudes always trying to holler at them, trying to say it's business and stuff like yeah. that. But what's the other challenges? So yes. the most, ch like, the ones that's hard for me is when I'm in a studio, I want to pay my money. I ain't paying you in sex. I ain't doing none of that. I'm not that girl. They do that over there, not me. Mm -hmm. I'm paying my money. Like, so some producers would be like, yeah, like, you know, you ain't got to pay. I'm like, ain't nothing free. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay. Then it's like, it's hard to work with different artists in the DMV, period. Very true. You know what I'm saying? Even on the female side, you kind of like got to pick a side too as well. I mean, it's not with, with me, business is business. Like, right. I'm about my money, so I don't really care about the size and all that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Right. That ain't that ain't what I'm on. Mm -hmm. With females, it's like, if I fuck with so-and-so and she had beef with the other girl, it, it oh, now I got a new hater. Like, yeah. it be stuff like that, so it's just like, 
Yeah, but even like in that situation, I'm not saying you. You say I don't care. Business is yeah. business. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying is in general, the females have to really go through the same thing that the male rappers got to go through. Like as far as you have to like, like beef and stuff. Yeah, like you got to kind of pick a side and stuff like that. Or is it? No, you know what I'm saying? No. Or it's just not as serious. But if say yeah, I feel like it's not that serious. Like because mm -hmm. niggas be beefing about like bodies and shit. Females mm -hmm. be beefing about regular. Sh oh, you took my nigga. Like girl, sit down. <laughs> like it be like that. Yeah, for real. What you think is like the issues with the DMV female rap scene? You know what I'm saying? Because we got a lot of dope rappers, but seem like a lot of females can't really get along for real. It's because everybody be hating. Like, everybody a hater to me. You feel me? <laughs> if you ain't working with me, if we ain't motivating each other, you a hater. Like, yeah. I surround myself with some female rappers, and I see them post somebody else stuff, and they won't post my stuff, but it be like, all right, I got, like, you know, I know what to do, I know how to move. I support everybody. You might have seen me post people's stuff. They don't mm -hmm. need to post mine. I'ma still post your stuff. I wanna see everybody win. Right. You feel me? Like, we gotta stick together as women. But it's like, I don't know, they just be haters. Like, that's just what it is. They right. be haters. Damn, that's crazy, man. I would love, I would love to see more unity out here, though, between the females. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of crazy stuff going on with the man rappers. I would love to yeah. be seen on that side because we got a lot of dope rappers. One, a lot of dope female rappers. You one of them, so you know, I definitely want to see you. Definitely one of them. Um, mm -hmm. Besides yourself, though, like name, like you can you name like two or three female artists that you you rock with, though. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like within your team or without, like that's not in your team. As far as I know, I'm I'm not tame. I ain't got no tame. Like, right. feel me? No female, like, I ain't, nah. But two female artists I do listen to is Seven and Sage. I fuck with her music. Mm -hmm. um, hmm, that's interesting. I mean, I, I listen to, like, certain songs of everybody, you mm -hmm. feel me? Um, Cousin, I say cousin. Okay, yeah, cousin is pretty yeah, good. She's, she's, she's real dope. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real dope. You know what I'm saying? For real. So you say you probably get them two right there. You know I mean, saying? I listen to some of these songs. Yeah. Right, 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 right. We already previously talked about, um, you know, um, struggles of being a female artist. What do you think you need to do, like, to elevate yourself? You know what I'm saying? Because you already have a name in the region, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The city and the DMV. But, like, what do you think you need to do? Honestly, I just got brunch off. You just gotta branch off. You think like off. probably networking, going to other places, that probably will help you out. I, yeah, like I do my little like it's it's easy being a female and it's hard. But I do talk to like certain people, like communicate with them. Not like no relationship talk, but like other artists, like mainstream mm -hmm. and all that. So it's like I be working. Like you might not see me, but I'm working. I'm always mm -hmm. working. I, w I would love to see like more music videos, like more consistent music videos every week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would see that though. But I always look, catch you, always catch you some way on YouTube. Or, you know, I see a clip on Instagram, so I know you is working. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see like, love to see that more from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying every day of the week, but at least like, you know, <laughs> every two weeks. But I know, That's what's crazy. what's like the other things that you got going on? You say, you know, you was dabbling into modeling and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? What's the other things you got going on? Right now, I'm getting into YouTube. Um, okay. Because yeah. I influence bitches all day. Like, mm -hmm. so I'm also get paid to do it. Like, you feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm starting a YouTube channel. Okay. Um, y'all can go tune into that. Okay. If y'all want to. Okay. So, you guys, what was you going to be mostly focused? Like, how to do hair, nails, or um, stories, or like, what type of stuff is it? I'm just going to, like, my life is a story, like I said. My mm -hmm. daily life. I'm getting ready with me. Uh, pranks. Mm. Stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah, it's definitely lit. As far as on the music side, what you got up on the way? Like, what's got up coming Um, way? actually, I just dropped Pressing the Issue, um, some days ago. I don't know when, because I just dropped it. Right mm. Um, but it's definitely going up. It's been out for three days, and yeah, I'm at like three mm. something. So, yeah, I'm doing what I gotta do. Speaking of pressure and the issue, when because I first. I mean, press the issues. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of pressure and the issue. Mm hmm. Y'all, you kind of press the issue out on me. And I get this a lot from female rappers. What I do? Like, nah, it's just in general, but you, yeah. Yeah, like, just in general, like, like, I get a lot of flack from female rappers, mostly because I don't post them. They feel like I don't post them as much as the male rappers and stuff like that. So, like, what do you feel? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I posted you a couple times. You did big numbers on my channel, you know what I'm saying? But I don't post you, like, every time. But, like, how do you feel? Like, do you think I be biased towards female rappers? Honestly, I feel like bloggers as a whole are biased towards females because, like, I feel like y'all post what y'all know can go up. Like, for instance, when I did that little egg challenge, mm -hmm. 
nobody ain't pay for nobody to post it, but every blogger post it. Y'all, you feel me? Mm. I just dropped a, a video, depressing the issue. Right. I ain't no blogger ain't posted for real. Mm. But when niggas is like with the male artists, a nigga could be playing the game. Oh, Migo Lee's on the game. Like y'all, like y'all be dick riding. Like no funny, y'all be dick riding. Y'all don't get a females the same light. And I is a lot of talented women in the DMV, but y'all don't really be fucking with us like that for real. Mm. Can I get my response? Go ahead. Okay, so basically, when we on blog pages, blogging is media first. Mm -hmm. So we look for viral content or content that goes up. We don't get paid for that. So the way we get paid, sometimes, you know, your, your Instagram can get monetized. You can get a little yeah, Instagram check. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But also, we mostly get paid from advertisements and promotions, whether that's mm -hmm. music, business, or whatever. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Usually, if it's a known rapper, like, say it's a No Savage or somebody that got numbers, we might give a courtesy post to that rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, like, usually, most of, like, I, I know for a fact 90%, 95% of the posts I get is either by the artist itself or by their label or management. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you got to step, like, when it comes to music or business that you're doing, like, say, for example, you started a nail business, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to get that nail business done, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, advertisement, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or say like, yeah, you're like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm getting sponsored by Fashion Nova or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Fashion Nova gonna have to send that check to them because <laughs> they get paid, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but if it's controversial content, that's when we both win, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. now, Say you say something on Twitter and it's going viral right now, and I make that post about you. You know what I'm saying? Me and you, when you get a bunch of new followers, you didn't have to pay for a post. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I get the viral content that I need. You know what I'm saying? So I can keep people interested in my page. Because if I'm just posting music, music, music all day, I'm not going to get the views. And I get a lot of flack from the female robbers. You know what I'm saying? Because I be telling them, like, and it's not you. I'm just saying in general. A lot of female robbers think that because I'm a media page and stuff, like, I'm supposed to. How can I break this down? Like, I supposed to just give them a free post, you know what I'm saying? Something like that off the break. I get that a lot more with females and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Third, well, you know. You know I feel like they third. feel like how I feel, like what yeah. I see. Yeah, it's not uh, got nothing to do with dick riding. I just, I just put, I prioritize business. Well, I don't want really to do that, but like everybody, like everybody else be doing it, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I be saying it, like yeah. I be peeping it. Yeah. You could turn the light on. Oh no, Savage turned the light on. Like <laughs> it's gotta be, be something. Like, but even if it's your favorite rap, I don't. It's gotta be something popular. Like it's gotta be something like fun. Like you know, it, it has to be, be controversial. Fun sometimes, cause, like some of the bloggers be posting, like other people that's not even from the DMV. Like, mm -hmm. and I know Chris Sean Rock ain't sitting there paying y'all the poster. Like you feel what I'm saying? Now I can understand I can understand your frustrations or your issues, you know what I'm saying? The standard third, you know. But personally, I enjoy I enjoy your music, I enjoy your brand, so don't ever take it out personal with me, you know what I'm saying? We already knocked out everything we got on the way, we knocked out everything we working on and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit on the way I ain't yeah. I ain't letting up, like I just can't. You say you can't let up? Yeah. You're not letting up, man. This is not here. So, what's going to be the difference coming in this uh 2023 2024? Like what's going to be the, the next goal and the mission now. I just gotta like really stay consistent, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like it's easier said than done, but it's like my mind be like early with, and I gotta like literally sit and focus on music, music, music. Mm -hmm. Like I gotta tell myself that. Yeah, yeah. Cause I guess you just be all over, like you got everything going on at one time. I and it, it, it be a lot. I, I, I already know. I know that feeling personally. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> but nah, definitely, man. But nah, Jella, man, where they can follow you at? You know what I'm saying? Where they, yeah, if I they haven't follow followed me. you. I feel like they follow me because I'm that girl. But if y'all don't follow me, y'all can follow me at kk. underscore on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, click the link in my bio. Follow me on everything else. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, one question. If you was the uh, blow up, say you got a record deal, good mm -hmm. record deal and stuff like that, and they offer you a feature with a major, female artists, which which artists you think you would do? The baby. The baby? The okay. baby. <laughs> you yeah. said, why is that? Cause like I feel like I'm a raw type of artist and I can switch it up. And mm. like I, I ain't gonna lie, I listen to him a lot. Like he inspires me mm -hmm. and it's like yeah. To the baby. I can fuck with him. I can see that. You you want somebody that has creativity. Yeah, like his like his world play go crazy. Like everybody be hating him and then it's like I also like, I go the way, like, if I hear people like, oh, I don't like Megan. Oh, I love Megan. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's like, I go the other route. I don't never want to fit in with nobody. So, mm -hmm. it's just like, I sit and I listen to Baby. He's one of my favorite artists, too. So, it's just like, right. yeah. 
Mm -hmm. What about like as far as a female artist? Women in yeah. the way. Like, like, I guess rap or maybe R and B. Like maybe it's an R and B artist you might want. Nah, like you saying like D and B or like. Nah, nah, global. I'm saying like if you was to get to that next, Lada. you know, that next I level. Like Lada. Like Lada. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. I can see a future with that. I definitely That's can see. Girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna ask some random questions real quick though. What's a what's like the funniest moments in the studio? <laughs> like, wasn't able to find, like name like one of your funniest moments in the studio making music. It's when all right, one time like sometimes I try to do an edible drink or something because when I freestyle it's different. Like if I do a freestyle off somebody's song, it's straight freestyling. Mm -hmm. So I be right there like I don't know what I be talking about. I just be like uh uh apple and then I just start flowing like that and mm. then they were like, bro, why are you rapping about an apple? And I just be like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I be having fun though. Yeah. Like, that's just what I be doing. So you just go to the studio and then whatever you see or think of, you just yeah. go straight in so, it. So, yeah, like to put it on the floor, I heard that. All my followers like, you got to get on that. I'm just like, nah, it ain't really. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get on it. So, mm -hmm. got in there. I'm like, all right, put it on the floor. And I just start going, like. Going for it, basically. Mm, yeah. So most of the time, but do you do you do write at the same time though? Yeah, I write some of my songs like the ones with deeper meaning. I write those. Oh okay, for real. What would you say was like your deepest song? Um, probably busy. Busy. Yeah. Mm. Can you tell me like like what was the uh, story behind that song? Um, honestly, I was sitting listening to like soft music, and I just started thinking about my life because I go through depression a lot. So it's mm. like. I was thinking, I was really in my feelings, and it's like, I can't really talk to nobody, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it was like, I started writing it on the paper. Then, a random beat came on, I'm like, oh, hold on. Start talking it to the song, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm about to fuck with this. So I went mm -hmm. to the studio, and then like, I was talking about my life for real. So it was like, that's my deepest song. Mm-hmm, that's your life, okay. You mentioned, I don't want to continue one, but he's like, you mentioned that you go through like depression and stuff like that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? How is that dealing with that? You know what I'm saying? Is it like, I ain't gonna laugh. Somebody like, that goes through it like itself or, you know, been through it and stuff like that. Like, it's not you, like been through it because it don't, it don't go away, you feel me? Yeah. Like, it hits you at the randomest time. Like, mm -hmm. you be having a ball. Like, me, everybody know me, I'm, I laugh all day. Like, I, I can have a ball, like, got a promotion, anything. Mm -hmm. And then it just like this wave just hit me and it's just like, I don't even want to be here no more. Like, I be going through that, like, you feel me? But it's like, I be battling a lot, too, because I never could focus on one thing, because I'm a mom, entrepreneur, I got a job. Like, I just be doing too much, like, mm -hmm. you feel me? But I got to, because if I don't, my mind will run, like, flat, and it's just like, I'm going to go into that depression state. Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I just got to keep myself busy. Nah, I, I definitely know the feeling right there. Definitely know the feeling, man. Yeah. All the time. I definitely appreciate this interview, though. I definitely really appreciate it. You got any words of motivation? Any uh, advice? Anything like that you want to say before we go? To who? Uh, anybody. <laughs> anybody or anything. Maybe a, a female that want, like, maybe a young girl that want to be a future. That want to be you. Yeah, that want to be you. So, that, <laughs> so I'm going to just say it to the female artists, like, don't ever give up. You feel me? Like, you might feel like ain't nobody fucking with you. You are your biggest competition, so it's like you gotta keep going. Like, don't let nobody stop you, bro. Like, mm -hmm. do what you gotta do. That's mm -hmm. it. Nah, I definitely appreciate that advice. You know what I'm saying? And kids, stay in school too. <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, school is insane. Yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. But I appreciate the interview right here, though. Where they can follow you at one more time? At KK dot underscore on Instagram. on Instagram and they click my bio and you're gonna see all my page all your page music yeah, everything TikTok, link like all that everything mm -hmm. nah definitely appreciate yeah. that it's your boy Dan V Hills and News and we are gone